Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sweet Lou Jeff Luzatter from Keystone at the Crossing in Indianapolis for the 2017 Indiana Baseball Hall of Fame induction ceremony red carpet show. Our next inductee is Mr. Greg Marshan. Greg uh, graduated from Lewis Cass High School and as well as Coach Sweet, he coached his alma mater and uh, as I uh, mentioned to Coach Sweet, what's that like to coach your alma mater? Well. Uh, Cass is a fantastic place to be. Uh, my story is much like Chip's. Um, I was told when I went down to Georgia to play baseball, make sure you don't major in PE, you won't ever get a job. So I majored in elementary education, and came back and got a PE job. Uh, so the baseball coaching job opened to Cass. And, you know, the rest is history. Well, it says here, uh, your wife, you married to your wife for 13 years. You got daughters Ava 40, Carly 35, and uh, Blake 36. Uh, you graduated from uh, Columbus State University in Georgia. Again, with, with Coach Sweet uh, leaving the state to go to college, what was that like for you to go a few thousand miles away? I have the same feelings he did. Uh, you know, a lot of times in high school, there's other people that can have an influence on whether you're successful uh, when you go that far away from home. That's all on you. Right. You know, there's nobody there to help you or pick you up. You're going to make it on your own. Uh, I know it was tough on my parents uh, not being able to see many games, but if I had it to all do over again, I'd do the same thing. It was a fantastic experience. Uh, let's talk a little bit about. I noticed some of your uh, your uh, records here. Uh, games start most games started 45 and most games won 32. That's a uh, pretty good. Uh, winning percentage there well as a pitcher I had great defense I mean, the, <laughs> the guys the guys that I played with down in Georgia had been to the Connie Mack World Series they've been to the Legion World Series uh, coach Ragsdale was a fantastic coach uh, he molded guys from all over the nation into a team but most of all he taught us to be men and on top of that he taught us to be Christian men well, it says here you've uh, 556 wins and 383 losses in 36 years. You're still active coach at Lewis Cass. I live in Lafayette, and with you just being out, you know, close to the uh, Kokomo area, I've always wanted to know: is it Cass or is it Lewis Cass? It's kind of like when you're in Florida, Kissimmee or Kissimmee. So can you kind of... Well, I, th I think that all comes with the ISHAA. The school's name is Lewis Cass and the ISHA directory, they call us Cass. And since they're the boss, we go by Cass. <laughs> well, your championships, you had 10 conference championships in the Mid-American Conference, five sectionals, two regionals, a semi-state, and a 1A runner-up in 2009. Uh, I'm sure you've still got on your uh, bulletin board somewhere about striving for a state championship, although I'm sure 2009 uh, you'll never forget just not only just getting there, but just experiencing, uh, experiencing that game. Uh, it, it was a fantastic experience for uh, not only myself, but for the team and the entire cast. They had never been there before. And, you know, I, I know in preseason we run a bunch of conditioning tests and we call it the Victor Field Challenge, which all stems back to your ultimate goals to get back there again. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, this Blackhawk helicopter experience here, your most memorable moment. Uh, you don't want to reveal who that person was, do you? Or No, I, I don't think that matters. Uh, he didn't get in trouble. <laughs> he uh, didn't get in he trouble. He didn't get in trouble. But it was well, I'm a shock, I'm, I'm sure, right? Yes, it was a shock. I, I was out on the field and unfortunately the band was in the parking lot so I put on headphones so I didn't have to listen to the band. I was edging the field and we had gotten up around the pitching mound and was tearing some sod out. And I didn't hear him coming. All I heard was a, or felt was a tap on my shoulder. And I looked up and there he is and I look in right field and there sits a helicopter. <laughs> and he said, Coach, I was flying over just wanted to tell you hello and you get back and get going before I get in trouble. So he get back in the helicopter and he flew off. Since that time he has come back and thrown out the first pitch. Mm -hmm. uh, has become a major now and uh, has taken a couple uh, stints in Iraq and Afghanistan and you know coaching 
when you have things like that happen to you, that's far more important than any wins, any championships, or anything else. And that that was a pretty emotional time for me that he would fly over and see me out there and, and land just to say hello. Wow. wow. Uh, you had 21 players all state. You had 13 players on the Indiana All Stars. Uh, I know you want, don't want to put anybody on the spot, but can you? Uh, is there anybody that kind of stands out uh, of those All Stars? That and they, they've all been unique in a different way. And uh, for a small high school, uh, 2A school, to have that many kids on the All-Star team, we've been very blessed with outstanding players and, and very blessed that we've had media behind them be able to get that taken care of. Also see here in your coaching career, you've also uh, coached some junior high basketball, been assistant uh, football coach and currently uh, athletic director. You've kind of run the gamut as far as uh, High school sports. Done, done a little bit of everything. Uh, athletic director uh, certainly keeps things lively. There, there's not a day that the same thing goes on day in and day out. I know the baseball field becomes a serenity to keep your sanity with all the <laughs> negatives that happen during the athletic office during the day. So it's quite an interesting day in and day out. Well, uh, question I pose for Coach Sweet in, in, in summer here, what does uh, this honor mean to you to be inducted into Baseball Hall of Fame here in Indiana? Yes. It means the world to me. Uh, I know that I've not turned in any credentials on level of wins. In fact, I had everything hid and uh, thought it wouldn't be found. My wife had no idea how many wins, nor my kids. Unfortunately, this past spring, I went down with major back surgery and missed half the season. So during that time, between Brian Abbott and my athletic secretary, they dug in the back room and they found everything out they turned it in. But what an honor to be voted on by your peers uh, for this fantastic honor. And I appreciate each and every one of them taking time to cast a ballot to make this happen. Well, congratulations and look forward to your speech tonight. Thank you.